Hi, Sarah here with a layout process for the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. I'm back after a little bit of a break and so happy to be back scrapping again. For this month's challenge, we are creating using six by six paper pads. So I've decided to um, use the six by six paper pad from the Cool Kids collection. And so to begin with on my layout, I am adding um, splashes of um, inks that match the colours that are in the paper pads, which you'll see in a moment. So for my inks, I'm using the Incredible Inks by Jane Davenport, as well as a yellow ink that I can't remember the name of, but it's from Hobbycraft. Um, I add water first, then I drop ink into the water so that the water just spreads the ink out itself. And then with a tiny brush, I just nudge the ink around a bit, then add a little bit more water, then nudge it again and just let the water do most of the work. And um, I'm going for yellow and orange into the green and the blue. I add the orange in a minute. And then in order to make it spread out, I just add more water, then drag the brush through the ink to create a channel so that it all pours into each other and I'm just gradually adding more and more so it doesn't just all pour in together so I'm doing it gradually across the page so I'm adding my orange in now and all I've done is put down some water then I'm just dotting little bits of orange um, I think this is a Dilutions ink spray and again using the little brush just to nudge the colour around a little, spread it out a little and make sure that it blends into the yellow but not too much at the same time and then I also add a little more yellow down the other side because on the green blue side it has gone onto the edge so I wanted to match that on the other side so I do add a little bit of yellow down that edge as well so it all sort of matches a little bit ish <laughs> yep here I am just adding that down this edge and then I just tip it around slightly but not too much because I don't want the colors to mix um, further than one color away on the spectrum so that it doesn't end up muddy and then I just leave it on a flat surface and just let it dry naturally so it does take quite a while but if I use the heat gun it would have pushed the ink around and it would have more likely to have mixed than if it's just left still to dry so as you saw there I just flipped through my 6x6 paper pad and pulled out papers that I thought were the most interesting to use I wanted some solid some black and white and then some bright colorful ones and then I just add them onto the bottom of my page still as full six by six papers just stick them down I make sure to use um, black and white yet next to color so that it's mixed up a little bit so um, there's a bit of contrast and I do end up trimming down some of them just so that um, they can fit and tuck in here behind the other two this is what I do there and then once I'm happy with how that looks, I just flip it over and trim off all the other bits off the um, paper pad pieces, which I do end up using in a little while. So I just need to stick that piece down there and then I do ruffle up the edges. And as you saw, they're not all stuck down very well, but um, that doesn't matter because I do go away and add some messy stitching, machine stitching across the bottom to secure that down so that uh, it's secure at the bottom and lifts up slightly um, further up. So now I've got that framed bit at the bottom which matches my ink colours at the top. I move on to work on the layers of my photo. I always add a, I always trim out my photo completely with no border then I always add a border back in and I choose the border based on what colours I'm using what colour my background is, etc. If it's a very soft layout, I'll go with maybe vellum or tissue instead of cardstock, but most of the time I go for a white or black cardstock for the background. 
and I just find that when adding lots of colourful layers it does help to make the photo pop and not get lost amongst all the brightness because I do tend to do a lot of bright layouts and now I'm just using up the rest of my paper pad and the fact that they are quite wonky pieces to use I found actually worked well for me because I can be a little too um oh what's the word too regular with my layering and this helped me do more interesting layers where it's not just neat rows of colours underneath so I just move them round and add them haphazardly but in a general cluster quite neat against the photograph but with lots of different colours all layered up differently and then I just trim off a nice little border each time I add a layer this also adds extra height to my photo but I do actually end up adding more height to my photo as well so that's my layers done I'm flipping that over now and adding just some cheap foam from Hobbycraft in the children's section and I use this rather than using foam tape or foam pads because I find that it makes the um, it makes the picture stay flat sometimes if you only use if you don't use enough foam it can sort of dip in the middle so I do think this works better and it's just way cheaper as well and I'm now using my little Repesco tool here oh I'm adding vellum first actually um, I just add a layer of vellum just for an extra layer and extra interest because I do like how vellum looks because obviously you can see colour through the back of it so it's just a different kind of texture to look at so I just add a couple of layers of that to the back of the photo and then trim it down and now I add my Repesco clips and you just uh, push the little button down and it adds a little binder clip so I do a couple of them on the top and the side and um, because the colours within the kit are bright colours and then the accent is silver so silver went really well so I used them clips I think you can actually get them in multicolour and rose gold and gold and stuff but I haven't found them yet I just um, found this in a random stationery shop so I'm adding my title on an angle going up that um, uh, 6x6 um, paper and the title's already made for me which was good because I do sometimes struggle with titles so when you can get phrase thickers they're always handy so you don't have to think of one and I'm adding in some tiny word stickers that I've got silver foil as well as my journaling spot at the bottom which is framed in silver foil and I'm just moving around my embellishments all of these are the cool kid embellishments and it's just what I have left over from my kit that I got and I'm now adding some acetate which I don't use very often and the reason why is because I hate the way the glue looks behind so I actually recently got this um, nifty little machine called Xyron or something Xerox Xyron creator sticker and it just applies um, an even layer of adhesive on the back of acetate so it doesn't show up where you've glued it down before that I used to glue it where it was hidden behind another embellishment or stitch it on which also does look really good but I was uh, happy to get this machine just to give me that option of just sticking it wherever I want and not worrying about any glue showing and now just adding a few little enamel shapes to finish it off and I'm doing them in a bit of a visual triangle type thing just adding it around all the bits that are um, most busy I guess I also add some of the star sequins. All these things are in the same Cool Kid collection. And just adding a few extra stickers. I add these aeroplanes. I love how they look. I love how they draw your eye from the title up to the photograph. Adding another one of them little binder clips to my journaling spot just to balance that out with the photo at the top. And I think I'm pretty much done now. I just add some matching colours and ink sprays I use Dilusions yellow orange a sort of turquoise colour and then a darker blue as well and just add them over the top of where 
the matching ink is more or less I mean some of them cross over a bit but I like the messy look of it and then I also add black ink because I find that when I use um, a lot of black accents black papers etc I find that the black ink draws it all together especially with a colorful layout and I think that's me done so thanks for joining me today please do check out everyone else's videos for this month and um, go over to the Facebook group see what's going on there um, have a great day everyone bye